According to the new guidelines posted on its website, KWS attributes the move to increasing number of translocations that have been taking place of late in the country. In essence, the agency wants to ensure proper planning, implementation, monitoring and documentation of the process to ensure success. In the guidelines, a translocation shall only be approved after a review of a proponent's proposal. A multidisciplinary coordination committee shall oversee the entire planning process and ensure coordination in all stages. Members of the committee will include scientists, vet doctors and technical personnel among others. The Biodiversity Research and Planning Directorate together with the security team will ensure security threats to translocated animals are eliminated. The government and KWS are still on the spot following a botched translocation exercise which led to the deaths of 10 rhinos at the Savo East National Park. Since then, pressure has been mounting on KWS to take responsibility with reports attributing the deaths to massive administrative neglect. In terms of personnel, a translocation exercise shall comprise of not less than 13 people, with everyone having clear instructions of their roles. The entire process will be recorded and documented in every stage for future reference. A post-release monitoring strategy shall be conducted to assess the outcome. KWS has in addition developed an immobilization protocol for both white and black rhinos. The agency cites increased vet attention for the two species as the major reason. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.